Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Nothing Better to Do on a Sunday Night with Premiere Elements 9. Today we'll be going over basic editing on the timeline and use of clips. Make a new project and name this one Basic Editing, for obvious reasons. So, first of all, we need a clip. To pull our clip onto our track, we need to go up to the Organize tab, and then click Get Media, and choose Files and Folders. From here, simply make way to the video we wish to use and double-click it. Then click and hold to drag it onto our Video 1 track. We now have a clip on our timeline. Keep it together. We haven't accomplished anything. Now, when we recorded this, we started a little early. Let's select our clip, then click and hold on the beginning edge of it, dragging it over till we reach our starting point in the clip. Oh, what's this? There's a part we definitely don't want people to see, but it's in the middle. How are we going to get it out of there? Don't panic. Go ahead and drag this playhead over to the start of what we want to remove. Then click these little scissors up here. Or alternatively, Control K. Then move the same playhead to the end of the clip and repeat. That clip now acts separate and we can select it and remove it from our timeline. Similar to how we removed our best friend Timmy from our life. Splendid. The clip was removed without much of a problem. Oh, but what's this? We had a bit of an issue with the beginning of the next clip, as it starts a little after we want it to. Let's undo by using Control z twice. Now, we need to get a closer look at this section of the clip. On the far right of the timeline is a slider. If we drag it to the right, we'll zoom in on our playhead. We can redo the cut so that our clip begins right at the start of the video. The viewer will likely be confused by this cut, though. So let's use this text tool next to the scissors to explain what happened. It's important that we be honest with our viewers to build trust between themselves and us. Let's finish up with this text by zooming in to make sure it's at the start of the new clip, then dragging the end point inward so that it's not as long. Wonderful. Now there's one last thing we can do to really add to the effect of it. We'll use a freeze frame. Here we have a nice shot of our character kicking these two baddies in the face. We can emphasize this by making a freeze frame. To the right of the text tool is our freeze frame button. Once the playhead is where we want it, click this to create a freeze frame. Now we can set our duration and place it right in our movie. I'll set it for two seconds. There. Now we have our video ready to push out to our viewers. Good work.